Jamal, as we sit here in the weight room, we see behind you hustle plays, big plays, non-stat plays from this season. Who do you think is the leader on the team in that category? Is it you? Yeah, I think it, think it is me. Uh, what is your favorite hustle play? Even be the tip dunk. Marcus Howard, a deep three. No, and oh. the offensive rebound by Kane. For the block. <laughs> Jamal Kane, no one saw him coming. You know, that just get the crowd going, you know, they're least expecting that. So just getting that tip back of that block, just, you know, get the crowd going. So that would probably be our favorite. You pride yourself on being a high flyer. Right there. Uh, it's more than just a vertical leap. It's more than just a spring. It's a whole approach that happens here in this area with Todd Smith and his group. How has your body improved in your time at Marquette? Uh, it's improved a lot. You know, when I got here, I was 175, I believe I'm 200 now. And you know, just with Ty helping me a lot with just my speed, quickness, you know, explosiveness, you know, stronger upper body, lower body. It just helped me a lot, you know, with being down there. And, and like now I'm playing a four, so I have to be more strong. I have to be more, you know, stable down here. So just with him helping me with that, it just been a huge help. How has this season lived up to your personal expectations? You got to keep getting getting wins and just, you know, listening up to the coaches, telling us what, what they want us to do on the floor and just trying to execute it and, you know, just come out, you know, every day and just play our best. I think a lot of that for you was set in this offseason. Your development as a player really sped up. That you and Marcus Howard spent some time together in particular. He worked on some skills with you, and you worked on some with him. What was that back and forth? You know, just, just trying to be able to, you know, shoot better. You know, with him being one of the best shooters in college basketball, you know, they're trying to pick up tips from him, little small tips to where he let the high, he let the ball go, you know, how he shoot it, what is he thinking about before he's shooting. So just trying to pick up those little traits from him. But then on the other side, you really focused on him on explosive play, that first step, didn't you? Yeah, just, you know, with just Marcus being so quick and fast, you know, just letting him know that he can get past probably anyone in the country, so. I think another reason that you've been successful, or so I understand from Coach Wojo, has been your attitude, has been your approach. Is that something that you're aware of every day? Oh yeah, just trying to come in angry, because, just, you know, just, just being angry, because I know that's probably going to bring out the best me, is being angry and trying to attack whatever's in front of me. So that's been something I've been trying to, you know, stay focused on throughout this year. All right, let's talk about your background a little bit. You're not a Detroit guy, you're a Pontiac guy. Mm -hmm. You've got to get that straight. So how did growing up there, how did your upbringing, how did your family help shape who you are, Jamal? Uh, well, you know, growing up, I kind of felt like I was forced, you know, to play because everyone in my family played. My mom played, my uncle played, my granddad, my dad. Well, my dad was more of a football player, but, you know, he just played it because that was my first love. So them just helping me, you know, telling me, you know, you can be the best, just striving to try and be the best. Where did most of your basketball at that age occur? Was that at home? Was that at the playground? Was that inside? Where was that? I would probably say with my mom. She used to always take me to um, like a little small gym where she used to go and uh, work out. So just, I'm just always in there, you know, shooting, grab my own rebounds, you know, shooting, trying little trick shots and stuff like that. And I say that's where my like love and passion kind of developed. In particular, Jamal, I think your infectious personality really carries over wherever you are. It's not necessarily just on the basketball court or with your teammates, but you see the way you interact with fans, the way you interact in community service, how have those two things impacted you since arriving here at Marquette? It impacted me a lot because, you know, just showing people in the community that don't be afraid to be yourself, you know, never change who you are. And that just helped me a lot in building my confidence as a person because they're accepting me for who I am and, you know, and for, for what I do. So that just helped me a lot. We don't often talk about hidden talents in this space, but I've heard that you have one. You're a music guy. You remember the lyrics to songs unlike anybody else on this team or that maybe you or your friends know. Do your teammates know much about this side of you? Are you a singer around them? Oh, yeah. Uh, I tend to, you know, really sing in the showers. You know, it's, it's, you know, they always hear me sing. You know, that's just something, like how I say it with my whole personality, I'm not afraid to show who I am. So if I hear a song that I like or that my mom's probably sung that I like, I sing it and I'm not afraid to show my true vocals. And the lyrics, yeah, I'd probably say, yeah, it's easy for me to remember lyrics. I don't know, if I like a song and it sounds catchy, I'll remember the lyrics. You're not afraid you'll let people hear it, won't you? Oh, yeah. Yeah, definitely. 